than me about yeah. that. <laughs> yeah, right. And one challenge that we face, uh, we are facing now, is split the tree. We have one generated tree uh, for, for instance, the update statement. But in Hibernate, you, we, you can update a parent and the, the child will be updated. So to generate uh, an Active SQL, we have to split that to generate update statements for each table. Okay. okay. How we did that? We did it like that. Um, we have the update statement, and during the, the, the generation of the ST, the the, the tree, we created our own uh, method to, to generate that, and we walk through the tree manually, gener the already generated tree, and change what we want. Um, I didn't like that much this, this approach. Uh, I would like to listen about listen from you what would be nice in your opinion. So what are you doing manually? What's the goal of that? Um, I have, for instance, can I use this? Yeah, sure. We have update uh, class name. Okay? We generated something like that. Update. Class name. It's okay if it's not a um, it's not a hierarchy class. It's not the top in a hierarchy. But if I have, for instance, uh, animals, animals and mammal here, when I generate an update for animal, 